So I'm going to show you today how to sew your patch onto your uniform. You're going to need four things. You're going to need thread, a needle, probably a smaller one than that, a straight pin that makes things easier, and some scissors. Not the cat. He's the pin. Okay, so I have started by actually pinning the patch onto the left sleeve of the uniform where I want it to be placed and I just did that here with a straight pin. You just go through both sides and then come back up on both sides. I want to make sure that your wings are parallel to the floor and this is a half an inch from the shoulder seam. I also have my thread and my needle and everything is pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start this on the inside the inside right here of the shirt. So I can see that this is basically the top right here and see how it has like a circular pattern. I want this to lay flat as I go. I don't want it to buckle up on me. Um, otherwise there'll be a wrinkle in the shirt. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started from the inside. I just go ahead and puncture through. It should come up here on the other side. Try to make sure you don't get the shirt caught up in there. Give this a pull. And I'm gonna show you an easier way to do this. So leave a tail like that and then come right back up underneath. Pull this all the way tight. Okay, so basically there is no loop here. It's just uh, nice and flush with the, with the patch. Let me zoom in here so I can show you what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to take these two pieces of thread right here. I'm going to tie these together like I tie a pair of shoes. So make my X, go through the loop, pull this tight. I'd probably do that a couple times just to make sure it's a good secure knot. There we go, and then I'm going to cut the excess tail off here because that's going to get in my way eventually and I don't really want to deal with that. So there we go. So now after this, what I can do is I'm just going to do what we call a straight stitch, a running stitch coming up from underneath that will come through the patch pull it so it's tight, tight like that. Come back down through the patch, pull this tight, move it over a little bit, pull it tight. The idea here is you don't want to see the stitch necessarily, it should be hidden within your color of thread you're using. Try to keep that fabric nice and smooth. Come from under, give it a pull. Come from top, give it a pull. It's called a running stitch. You're just going to do this all the way around. Okay, so I have come around to the end. Um, this is what it looks like from the inside. Try to keep this nice and flush without any folds or wrinkles. So my last stitch, I'm going to come up here. Also see how I hold the shirt kind of with two fingers and then on the back with two fingers that way I kind of no watch out I don't poke my finger when I push through one side okay wait a minute I'm gonna mess this up okay here we go so here is my last stitch oops I'm gonna come up make sure everything's nice and tight double check on the other side that there's no wrinkles in it Looks pretty good. So this is how I'm going to tie this off. Let me zoom in. Not too close. Okay, so I just have come up right here. 
and I'm going to tie a knot here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through a little bit of the fabric. Oops. And I'm going to pull this so that there's a loop. I'm going to stick my thumb in here to make sure it doesn't close up on me. There you go. There's my loop right there. See my thumb is through it. I'm going to go through that loop eh, maybe like two or three times. Three, and I'm just going to leave my thumb in there until I can pull it tight. So there's one, and I'm going to do that again. Just go through the fabric just a smidge. Stick my thumb through there. There's my loop. One, two, three. Give that a good pull. There we go. I'm going to cut everything nice and neat. Here's my needle. Get that out of there. And then there's my patch. Take your pin out. And there you go. Not that difficult. It should take you about five to ten minutes.